So here you go guys on YouTube, here's a video today of Darren who's uh, who's booked a lesson, actually his daughter booked a lesson in for himself today because he's been watching videos on YouTube and finally uh, his daughter's nudged him in the right direction to get a golf lesson in and the improvement that he's made is, is un incredible. What we'd see with Darren, Darren's not been playing a great deal of time, a couple of years, been getting advice off fellow friends and, and players who've been playing a long time and from YouTube, so I've uh, been watching snippets of myself and other pros' videos, so he's kind of got a lot of the good stuff but just losing a few of the the simple things let's say Darren's biggest issue is that it hits the ball to the right now that can be a mixture from it slicing to the right pushing to the right fading to the right high into the right but everything was definitely going to the right um, so we have a look through his golf swing and we see some really good traits first off on this left hand side this is his setup we've not changed setup at all because i think it's superb nice posture good distance away from the golf ball letting the arms hang naturally looks very comfortable looks very athletic but what was happening as soon as he would move his club away now this is kind of a trait of someone who's a bit self-taught he was actually looking at the club head here so that's him to that's Darren turning his head to look at where his club head is in the back of the swing. That's quite dangerous already because straight away you're looking away from the sight of the golf ball. So it's very difficult for your eyes to get back onto track when that's the case. Now if we put in this position here and he was putting it in the position perfect, I'd let him off. I wouldn't change it. <laughs> but unfortunately, in fact I've probably got a better video than that. Unfortunately it wasn't. It was very open. There's a club face here was very open the face pointing up to the sky too much and the club head was far too much inside of his hand location so you can see there so straight away we've opened the club to his path to his, whatever his path is going to be that club face is going to be more to the right than that he's already looked away from ball so that's going to find it very difficult to get his gauge back on and straight away he's going to cut across the golf ball swing it from outside to in and depending on the severity of the slight of the face if the face was open to the target, the, face, the ball would start to the right and curve further to the right. Or on the occasion, he would get the face slightly to the left of his target, but still open to his path. And would hit the kind of normal slice or fade shot that he would uh, miss the target, certainly to the right. So, what we've changed, we've got on the screen here. Now, it's, very, it's kind of difficult to see on this left hand what we actually did change. But what we saw is that his left hand was very weak. So I got him in a position where we could see more of the back of his left hand. So we can see now from what the vantage point that he's looking at is two knuckles on the back of his left hand. I drew two blue dots on the on his knuckles. So he, when he looks down, he's got a reference point to make sure that he can see both of those two dots in his takeaway. The next thing we talked about is that how we could get him to stop looking at the ball. Stop looking at his club head. So I kind of just had him a, a bit of a blinkered moment here. I also got these, this Leadbetter club face trainer on the shaft as well to help him feel like the club face was remaining, staying uh, facing the golf ball in his backswing. So once it was, I obviously moved away so he wouldn't then look at the golf, bo uh, golf club on the takeaway. And all I simply said <clears throat> was make sure that the face, imagine that the face has got a mirror on it. And you want to try and keep the mirror pointing at the golf ball. Now, guys, be careful. That's not advice for everyone. It's advice if you do get open in your takeaway to try and keep the mirror of the club face pointing at the golf ball. Don't do that unless you are open in your takeaway. And straight away, we see the improvement there of his club face is perfect. Ideally, we should see the, the, the front edge of the club to be relatively simple, uh, relatively similar to the spine angle in his takeaway, where before... Let me show you again before just to give you a quick recap of where it was. It was incredibly open. So straight away, <coughs> Darren started to keep his face much straighter to his path. Much, much straighter. And the ball started to go to the left, which was great. Perfect, because he would cut across it, but his face would be in line with his path. So we were hitting the ball with a little bit of a pull. And that's actually where we've finished today's lesson. We've finished today's lesson hitting the ball probably about 20 yards further with his 7-iron. And Darren's here next to me and he would agree with that. About 20 yards further with his 7-iron. Because simply his face was more level to his path. So now we're hitting slight pull shots, ever so slight pull shots. I also just got Darren just to cross his forearms better here because his forearm extension wasn't quite as good. So letting his forearms cross better, and, and I keep 
making sure it's not the wrist, it is the arms, and that ball's just just turning to that left-hand side really nicely. Um, next lesson, Darren, we're going to work on improving your path, getting your hit the ball slightly lower, and I reckon we've got another 15 to 20 yard improvement on the distance, and also direction will be really, really good there, and then we can start doing it with the longer club start and getting it, doing it with the woods. Guys, if you're watching this and you enjoyed the video and you've learnt a little bit from that, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel, check me out on Facebook and Twitter and I look forward to seeing Darren next time so we can work a little bit more on his path and getting him hitting the ball a lot straighter. If you are interested in lessons as well, then there's a link below. Um, you can find out information about lessons, online lessons and in-person lessons also. Thanks very much for watching.